What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing indicators when it comes to being bisexual, gay, or even being a lesbian, okay, in the natal birth chart. So, of course, if you have one, two, three of these things, this is definitely not going to um, be potent for you, but if you have a few of these in your chart, this is going to... Um, Push towards um, being bisexual, being gay, or even being a lesbian. So I'm just going to um, jack this off, and I am going to have um, part one, part two, and part three to this because this is a little lengthy. Okay, so let's jump into it right now. Okay, Venus in Aquarius, or having Venus in the 11th house in your natal birth chart. Mars in Aquarius. Mars in the 11th house. Venus in Gemini. Venus in the 3rd house. Mars in Gemini. Mars in the 3rd house. Venus in Sagittarius. Venus in the 9th house. Mars in Sagittarius. Mars in the 9th house. So I know people are probably thinking, why would it be Aquarius? Why would it be Gemini? Um... Also, Venus in Pisces and Venus in the 12th house, okay? Um, but I know you're probably just jotting this down and you're like, why? You know, why would this indicate this? Um, we already know that Aquarius has to deal with being very much eccentric, um, breaking down those barriers and things like that, old traditions, um, being very much unconventional, not doing what everybody else does. So this is why that could definitely indicate something like that. Um, they like... The friendship kind of thing um, over like that serious committed kind of thing but um, they are very much detached people as well okay they're not afraid to um, try out new things new tricks experiment or being experimental along with the Sagittarius Sagittarius is very experimental they love to travel they love to sightsee um, they like wisdom they like knowledge but they like information see what I'm saying just like with Gemini so you know just pinging these things back and forth but let's just keep moving forward um, Venus in Libra with a Mars in Cancer um, a Mars in Libra or having a Mars in Pisces. So this would link up like this. And this actually um, does show up a lot in the charts of men that are gay. Okay. Having their Venus in Libra also being linked up with Mars in Cancer or Mars in Libra or Mars in Pisces. Okay. So we also have the fifth house, the seventh house and the eighth house cusp um, with Aquarius on it. Um, as well as Gemini or Pisces could be an indicator of gay or bisexual tendencies. Mercury conjunct Venus, which is also similar to having Venus in Gemini. Okay, you got to pay attention to shit like that. All right, let's keep on going. So we also have Venus on the ascendant. That can indicate someone being bisexual. So, Venus on the Ascendant would indicate having um, Taurus as an Ascendant or having Venus in the first house, um, Venus in Libra um, in the first house. What else? Um, your Ascendant being a Libra Ascendant, Libra rising, Taurus rising. This is what I'm showing you. All right. So, now, Mars in aspect with Mercury. Venus and Mars in aspect with Uranus. Venus conjunct, squared, or opposite Uranus. Even the sectal, okay, can jump this shit off too. Mars conjunct, squared, or opposite Uranus. Even the sectal as well. See what I'm saying? Now, I know for a fact that um, this Venus conjunct, squared, opposite Uranus, same thing with the Mars. Conjunct, opposite, square, Uranus, and the sector. Okay, those can definitely be indications of somebody that um, is gay or bisexual or lesbian or whatever the case may be. Okay, doesn't mean that if you have one of these that you're going to be that. But you are going to be very different from um, people around you. The way that they think, the way they move, the way that they operate. Moon in Aquarius shows up a lot in bisexuals. And lesbian charts. 
Mars in aspect with Neptune is common in men charts as well as women. See? So it does not really matter, man or woman. Um, this Mars um, being connected to Neptune um, has a lot to do also with people not fully knowing exactly who they are or not fully wanting to expose who they are to the public. Okay? Um, a lot of times people that have this, they do have a hundred masks. Um, some may be calling it um, being secretive. Some may call it private. But for damn sure, um, they keep a lot of things um, hidden. Okay? And it really has a lot to deal with them actually not wanting to expose exactly who they are to others. So they can be the type of people that are very good actors, okay, um, and things like that. So with this, it may be difficult to pinpoint um, if they are, if they're not, unless they have a lot of other things. You see what I'm saying? Um, but this can be very much common, okay, in charts of people, um, men and women, Okay, that may be um, bisexual or just um, gay or lesbian. Okay, so we also have Mars or Venus in the 11th house or in the 12th house. Aquarius or the 11th house stellium. So if you have an Aquarius stellium or if you have an 11th house stellium, this can pull this out. Gemini or third house stellium. Pay attention to these things. Um, Pisces or a 12th house stellium. Okay, so now if you're looking at somebody's chart and you see that they have um, a lot of Pisces in their chart, they have a third house stellium, um, they have a lot of things in Aquarius. See, this is how you can um, pull this out a little bit more and understand um, where it could be more prone to. Um, mutable signs dominant in your chart, in your birth chart. Moon in aspect to Uranus. This is a big one. Moon conjunct Uranus, squared Uranus, opposite Uranus. This is a big one, okay? These people are about being free and um, freedom. They don't want to be um, confined. When people get too close, um, they can pull back, but they want the closeness. Okay, it's so a lot of things with them. Um, they get bored very fucking fast. They want to do whatever the hell they want to do, when they want to do what they want to do. Can't nobody tell them what to do, okay? Um, and how they move is going to be how they move. They don't care about what other people think. They don't care about that. Bisexual charts usually heavily filled with a sign of cancer. Negative aspects to the moon, Venus, or Pluto. So um, like a cancer rising um, in a man's chart, okay? If a guy has cancer rising in his chart along with a heavy influence of having cancer, okay? So this is if you have a cancer rising and you have Mars in cancer or you have Mars in the fourth, um... Also, if you have a Pluto in the fourth and things like this, all of these different things could tie into this kind of way. Um, having um, um, Mercury and Cancer. Also, you know, just things like that. Let's move on. Um, Mars and Scorpio or Mars in the eighth house can also bring this um, energy out when it comes to being um, gay, bisexual, or lesbian. Okay, so now bisexual men, um, you can actually look towards their Venus. Okay, signs too as well. Um, Venus and Aries or Virgo. Venus in the first house, Venus in the sixth house, okay? This is pushing more towards the men's charts, okay? Um, a lot of men that are actually um, gay, okay? And and maybe they're even um, bisexual or maybe they don't feel like that they're gay, okay? But they do have a, um, something in them um, that can definitely be shown with a Mars in Cancer, a Mars in the fourth house, um, having your Mars in Virgo or also your Mars in in the sixth house, okay, it could be um, a struggle for them, even if they haven't even actually um, did the act or anything like that, these things can also just creep up in their minds, um, maybe fantasies and things of that nature, whether if they, they took that step or leap or not. Mars squared the sun, Mars squaring Saturn, Mars opposite Jupiter, or Neptune, Mars opposite Neptune, okay, Mars or Venus in connection with the ascendant, okay? Um, having aspects towards it. Um, your Mars sign is um, just being connected in any kind of way. Um, even if you have in your chart, if you have a um, Mars or a Venus, okay, um, being connected to your ascendant, this is like if you're having um, Mars opposite Venus, Mars um, opposite um, ascendant conjunct square, you know, things like that. Uranus in the eighth house. 
Mercury squared, opposite or conjuncting Uranus. Okay. All right. Now, a lot of times people that have this, they um, they they, they usually um are very smart and intelligent people. However, these people minds go all different kinds of ways. This can also push towards um even having um nervous breaks down, nervous breakdowns, um being anxious, anxiety attacks, um even bipolar, um psychological disorders and things like that. Also can come from this um thing, but um it does um also push towards um being bisexual, gay, and things like that. It can push towards that too. Having these thoughts as well, actually acting them out as well. Okay, where was we at? Uranus in the seventh house. Okay, um, and also having Uranus on the seventh house. Okay, so that would be Aquarius on your seventh house. Uranus in the twelfth house, having Aquarius on your twelfth house. Chiron in the eighth house. Chiron in Scorpio. Moon in the eighth house. Moon in Scorpio. Chiron in, um, and I said Chiron in Scorpio already. Um, Lilith in the first house, um, can push towards this too. Lilith in the first house, um, Lilith in Aries, Lilith in Leo, Lilith in the fifth, Lilith in Aquarius, Lilith in the 11th, Lilith in Scorpio, Lilith in the eighth, Lilith in Cancer, Lilith in the fourth. Okay, so this is what we have for part one, all right? And I am going to be doing part two very shortly, <laughs> right after this one. Um, so, yes, this is a force of nature, um, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace, and blessings to you all. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. Okay, um, at the current moment, I am not doing any birth charts or any kind of charts right now. I am actually um, working on the Twin Flame line, okay, and I have to attend to that um, a little bit more than this. So... I will be doing these videos, so anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free to do that. Okay, I appreciate each and every one of you. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all, and I'm going to see you on the next one.